to show you how to track your practicum 2, internship 1, and your internship 2 clinical hours. Earlier we sent you an email with a link to your weekly log sheets. If you didn't receive an email, please contact Pam Brooks at pdbrooks at seu.edu. Now we want you to open your email now, and your email should look like this. Click on Open in Sheets, and this will bring you to your own individual weekly log sheets. Each week's log sheet is divided into the following four sections. Identifying information, direct hours, indirect hours, and signatures. Let's take a closer look at each section. Before you begin counting hours, you will need to fill out the information section of the sheets. To do this, you will enter your name, your SEU email, and the current course that you are enrolled in. For this sheet, you will notice that the course is Practicum 2. You will also enter the course instructor's name. This is the professor of whichever practicum or internship class you are currently completing. Then you will fill in the name of your site. You will have a separate set of log sheets for every site where you intern each semester. So if you have two sites at the same time, you will have two separate sets of log sheets. Next, you will enter your site supervisor's name and their email address. You will then need to enter the dates for the first week of the semester. When counting internship hours, a week is Monday through Sunday. So you will enter the date for the first Monday on the space labeled start date on week one. Then the spreadsheet will automatically fill the rest of the dates in for the remaining week's sheets. All the identifying information will also be automatically filled in on the log sheets following week one. So, you will only have to enter this information once. Next is the direct hours section. Direct hours are internship hours in which you provide services directly to clients. This may include providing individual counseling, group counseling, or completing intakes. Any direct hours that do not fit into one of these specifically identified categories of the sheet should be entered in the other space. There is also a space to the right of this section to describe these hours. All of the direct hours entered for each category will automatically add together. Total direct hours for the week, as well as total direct hours that have been entered so far for the semester, can be seen on line 18. Next we have the indirect hours section. Here, all non-direct internship hours are entered. You will see that again there are sections for the different types of hours that can be counted. Staffings, case notes, and educational webinars are just a few examples of indirect hour opportunities. Just like in the direct hours section, there is an other space where hours can be described that do not fit a specifically listed category. Check with your professor if you have questions about what may qualify for direct or indirect hours. Also, don't forget to count your practicum or internship class time hours on line 22. This will be an hour and a half of indirect hours every week. The bottom section contains signatures to validate the week's hours. Each week after you have entered your hours, you will type in your name and the date on the student signature line. This will act as your signature for that week's log. You are required to submit your log sheet electronically by 11.59 p.m. every Sunday night, whether you received any hours for the week or not. This allows the professors to keep track of the hours you have accumulated and validate them prior to the next class meeting. To submit the sheet after you have signed, click on the blue share button that's at the top right corner of the sheet. Type in Pam Brooks' email address, which is pdbrooks at seu.edu. 
and leave the selection on the drop-down as Ken Edit. Below the email address, you can add a note to Pam if you have a question or a comment. This could be about your log sheet or your current count of hours. Then, click the blue Send button. After electronically submitting, you will then be able to print the week's sheet and get it signed by your site supervisor. To print the log sheet, left-click the sheet and highlight cells A1 through I40. Once this is highlighted, click the printer icon in the top left corner. In the box that opens, you'll select the selection under options, and under layout, you want to select fit to width and portrait. This should allow your log sheet to print on one page. After you've received your site supervisor's signature, you will turn in the hard copy of your log sheet in class to be signed by your professor and to be later placed in your file. Every week's log sheet must have all three signatures for the hours to count, so make sure you take the log sheets to your site supervisor regularly. Now you're ready to begin counting hours. For information on tracking your total internship hours, check out the Clinical Hours Spreadsheet video.